Hello everyone, myself Bharadwaz. In this video, I will discuss about hours counter. Okay, open your PLC software. On the left side, scroll down and go to counter category and select hours counter. And add the comment. Hours counter. Okay. If you see, there are one, two, three inputs and one output. This is very useful in industries. Okay. This block is used to calculate the machine run time or motor running time, pump running time. Okay. You can use this block to calculate the machine total running time. We will discuss how this works. First, take three inputs, digital inputs, and one output, connect, add comment. The first one is reset, second one is input. like motor run status. And third one is reset all. Okay. Now go to simulation tools and simulation. See, there are three parameters you have to remember for this block. The first one is MI maintenance interval, second one is MN time to go, and third one is OT total time. Okay, overall time like that. If you see, these will these are in hours and minutes. Okay, suppose there is a pump or a motor, okay, and we want to calculate the total run time of the motor. How many hours the motor is running? Generally, for motor, start, stop, trip, emergency stop, running feedback, permissives, etc., signals will be useful. And in this case, we need motor run feedback, run status. That status bit we will connect in this enable of this block. When motor is running, this bit, this bit will be high. This bit will be on. So I will click this bit on. So what happens when this bit is started? This block will note down the current time and it will calculate the time until this bit will be off. Okay. For example, now this motor is in running state. I will change the time. I will increase the time. I will just increase by minutes and apply. So, what happens if you see this last one is updated? OT is now. Two minutes. Okay. The motor is running for two minutes. Let's suppose I will add one hour, 15. Apply. The time is updated. So the motor is now running for one hour, two minutes. Remember, this is simulation for testing purpose. I am changing the time so that we can see the block functionality. So this block will calculate the time and it will update the total running time. For example, now the motor is off, then the status bit will be off. Now this block will not increase the time. 
it will save this time one hour three minutes now i will change the time again see i will add one more hour 16 and apply time is updated see there is no change here if my bit is again on motor status that means motor is running again again it will start from this value i will add 30 minutes or some other value apply you see the time is updated overall running time of the machine okay and now we will discuss about these two bits we will go to the properties if you see one option is given maintenance interval mi let's suppose i will add 5 hours okay every machine periodically receives maintenance okay every machine needs maintenance it may be five every five hours maintenance is required every 10 hours 100 hours 500 hours 2000 hours it depends on your process industry on your machine model make type uses etc remember that i am just using five hours for simulation purpose now what happens we entered mi value which is five hours i need my motor maintenance after running five hours there is no need to run motor continuously for five hours today it may run for two hours tomorrow it may run for one hour like that after reaching five hours then i want to do the maintenance in that case i need one status or i need one output from the plc i need one alarm or notification from the plc that this five hours is completed you have to do the maintenance okay this is optional please remember if you need this type of option we can use otherwise you can ignore this how this works is the total time is already calculating by the block which is ot now it is 1 hour 38 minutes our maintenance interval is 5 hours right so what it will do it will they it will calculate the difference between mi and ot so 5 hours minus 1 hour 39 minutes this is the result 3 hours 21 minutes if the machine is not running and ran for 1 hour i will increase 1 hour machine time apply see what happens okay 17 so what happens my overall time runs uh, running time of the machine ot is updated it is increased and similarly the mn value time to go value is also updated i will increase further 18 one more hour overall time is increased mn time to go is decreasing like that it will work 20 14 apply see 5 hours is completed mn is equal to 0 remember when mn is equal to 0 output will be turned on that is why q1 is on here that means your uh, maintenance interval 5 hours is completed you please do the maintenance signal will be given by the plc it will not stop the motor or it will not stop the counting of the total runtime this is only notification only an alarm it will give to us we have to decide whether to continue to run the motor or we have to stop the motor as per your requirement okay let's suppose i am continuously running the motor for one more hour 21 apply 
what happens maintenance bit is still on output is still on but the ot total time of the motor running time is increasing okay this is how the total time will be calculated for example now i turned off the motor and maintenance is completed okay again i turned on the motor still my q1 is on output is on but maintenance is completed so what i have to do is we have to activate or press the first input which is reset okay what it will do it will reset the output and it will update the mn again see input is activated and again normal mn is equal to 5 again 5 hours output is off mn is mn means time to go is 5 hours means again after 5 hours again output will be on again we have to do the maintenance in simulation case generally this value will be high 100 hours 200 hours 1000 hours like that okay in industries i will increase one more hour just see or uh, two hours 23 apply so like this it will work for example i want to reset all the fields output mi mn ot all then i have to give reset all i am activating reset all ot uh, main output and ot will be reset m i m n are fixed values taken from the properties if you no need for this you just enter 0 0 okay or you can enter some big value okay mainly this ot is important total time of the machine for maintenance we have to know how many hours each motor is running after running for specific hours we have to do the maintenance then again they can use the motor for the process operations in this case we discussed about motor run status we can use this type of application for any machine if you have any experience in industries share with us how you are using this type of counter and what is the parameters and applications or type of the counters you are using in the industries share with us through the comment section thank you i will meet you in the next session